Did you know that worldwide about 15 to 50% of babies are born with some congenital ear deformities? That's amazingly high. If these are left untreated, they can certainly lead to psychological distress, anxiety, and, and a, certainly a decreased quality of life. So it's important to treat these infants' ears when they're young. There's a lot of good news here. First, about 30% of these deformities will self-correct. Second, with the remaining infants, the plastic surgeons around the world can now safely and effectively treat deformities without surgery at all, which is good. Using a procedure called ear molding, which uses a device that's worn around the ear to reshape the ear cartilage. After switching from surgical treatment to using ear molding in July 2017, this team of plastic surgeons from China began tracking the procedure's long-term effectiveness in these patients. In this new plastic surgery hot topic, they share their results with about 200 consecutive babies treated with these ear molding devices. The babies were treated with the device for about four and a half weeks on average. The team determined that immediately after the treatment, the outcomes were 96.8% successful. After a year, they found the results to be about 91.7% successful, which is also excellent. The major difference between the short and long-term success was due to about 7% of the baby's ears reverting to their original shapes. Interestingly, neither patient gender nor age or length of treatment had any correlation to the long-term success. However, family history was a key factor among babies whose ears proved resistant to this type of non-surgical treatment. So even though some ears are more likely to relapse after this treatment, the authors show that in most infants, ear deformities can be treated successfully, non-surgically, with these molding devices. These results should keep infants and their parents smiling from ear to ear.